YouTube, this is Boxing Mind TV with another video. Your boy Shakur Stevenson wants all the smoke with Lomachenko. And he's calling out the promoters. All promoters on every platform, man. It's 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 a big move. It's a big, you know, um, big statement by by Shakur Stevenson, man. This this boy that's a pup in the game right now, in the in the professional ranks, that's grown up to be a dog, man. He wants all the smoke. He wants Lomachenko. And he's calling out the promoters, man. Telling them to, you know, to basically sit down and um, sit down and uh, and make these fights happen, man. He posted on Twitter his frustration. I'm going to read his uh, Twitter post and then I'm going to talk later. Uh, what he said on his Twitter, he said, he told Lomo, see you at at 130, Lomo. When that happens, y'all going to see I'm... I'm the fucking truth. I said all that other side of the street shit in boxing is so trash. It takes away from the sport. I'm a boxing I'm a, and I'm a boxing fan. I enjoy seeing and being in the best fighting the best. So Bob and Al and even Eddie and Oscar need to have a big ass meeting and make boxing great again. What Steven said in a nutshell, man. All the fights need to happen, man. There's no no pettiness need to be involved in making the fights. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff y'all were trying to, you know, not make, trying to keep everything in-house. You know, keep all the money in, on one side, on one network. Everybody need to work together, you know, to make boxing bigger, bigger than what it is right now. You know what I'm saying? Have everyone talking about it. Make it more mainstream. So... Um, I'm down with Shakur Stevenson saying that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that needs to happen, you know? That would be great, you know, if that, that were to happen, you know what I'm saying? We have all these networks and all these possible fights that could happen. People are fighting more, but you're not getting the best fights because they won't cross-promote, you know what I'm saying? So, if they could do that, and... Because right now, you know, our fighters are getting more opportunities to be to get televised, you know, because so many networks now. So there's more slots for people to be fighting on. So it makes sense, you know. Uh, it, 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 it just it's just better for them to just, you know, to work work things out and and uh, cross promote and 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 do this the network cross promotion and have these fighters have, have these fights happen you know what i'm saying It'd be good for boxing if that would have happened you know what i'm saying and for him calling out lomo the way he's doing you know he really he really wants to fight he really feel like he, he could beat him a lot of a lot of a lot of the young cats called out lomo after that luke campbell fought luke campbell fight they seen a lot of flaws you know, you know, uh, it wasn't an easy fight for Lomo at all. You know, dealing with a a, a long range guy, a guy that's taller than him, and that could box a little bit. You know, Lomo had a had a hard time with him. You know, uh, it wasn't like a clean sweep, as the scorecards were saying to me. You know, the Luke Campbell least probably won like three rounds, maybe three, four rounds, whatever. But you know, Lomo did win. But a lot of cats was calling him out, man, and uh, Shakur Stevenson. He actually um, uh, sparred Lomo in the past. You know, uh, I remember watching Sway Sway's uh, interview with uh, Shakur Stevenson, where he stated that he he sparred Lomo, and he wasn't doing all that matrix shit on him. It wasn't working. You know, he stated that he like he respect Lomo and everything like that, but all that wasn't working on him. You know what I'm saying? He would love to fight Lomo, of course. You know, and test his skills with him. But I feel like Shakur Stevenson knows a little bit more than uh than most people know uh, about Lomo because he sparred him knowing but we all know sparring is sparring and fighting is fighting you know, under, under the lights it's totally it's, it's I won't say it's well I'm not a boxer so but I would say it's a little different you know what I'm saying a little different because you when you sparring out you know boxers are trying to you know work on things that they probably lack in and also get like a good workout good a good 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 workout in get in fighting shape so and you know they were doing that and they said it was going at it too i remember uh, i think uh i think trill box talk had somebody else on it too i can't forget his name but he also said he's seen the sparring and stuff like that and it was they were giving good they were giving each other good work like shakur stevenson hanging in there you know what i'm saying so shakur stevenson know where he's at he's, he's confident you hear the dog in them and he's ready you know what i'm saying he, 
he's a young pup that's trying to grow into a big dog in 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 the game and i can't blame him you know what i'm saying why not you're a civil you're a 2016 civil medalist and and you probably should you probably could have won gold but you was the best person out that class probably you know the, the guy that just that just that one goal that beat you he just got beat in his first fight first pro fight you know what i'm saying so it's just like you know Chris Stevenson is the goods man i feel like he's one of the, he could be one of the top dogs as far as the young cats like Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, Tank, Ryan Garcia all these cats that's coming up in that era he could be one of the ones that probably be the last one standing you know what i'm saying he's a good talented fighter and he can be in a lot of big fights with those guys too so him calling Loma out, if he could beat Loma, whew, that's going to help his marketability big time. It should help his marketability big time. So I'm down with Shakur Stevenson doing this, man. And, you know, everybody's gunning for Loma's head right now. You know what I'm saying? It's perfect time. He's right for the picking. He's right for the picking right now. Unless, you know, he shows different. Shows that it was a fluke goal. Shows that, you know, in the next fight that, um, he ain't no joke, but we all, you know, it just, you know, need to kind of overhype Lomo to me. He's a great fighter. He's a good fighter, but pound for pound, number one, I think that's too soon. That's not, he, he doesn't have a whole body of work yet, I don't think. But he's a great fighter. Take nothing with, take, taking nothing away from Lomo. But Shakur Stevenson wants all the smoke, and he's letting me know. He's letting his frustration out on Twitter, out to his promoters, whoever, you know what I'm saying? He's, uh you know, uh, letting everything out, man, so, and I feel him on that one with the promotion, the promoters and the networks, man, and it is kills the petty shit, because doing this is, is ultimately affecting, affecting the boxer's career, you know what I'm saying, a boxer wants to make the most money they can, and they want to fight the best at the same time, you know what I'm saying, if they want to leave a legacy behind, and, you know, uh, the older you get, you know, it's the possibility you might lose some of your, uh, uh, some of your, um, your skills or, you know, your, um, your speed, you know, you, you start physically start to break down. So, you know, if they don't get together and you can't get the fight that you want and then you end up getting the fight either late in your career or not at all, it kind of affects, it kind of affects your, your, your objective, your goal in the game you know what i'm saying because you with this promoter he wouldn't work with this promoter he work, or he wouldn't work with this network it's it's frustrating i can see it could be frustrating for a fighter so i push of course Stevenson in this and he's a he's a, yeah, he's saying he's 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 uh he's um um uh lashing out right now and he's not even uh he's still young in the game he's he's just he's not like a old like 30 you know 30 fights in and saying like man i need you know i'm about to you know retire soon or he's like close to being retiring and he's like i need i want to have these fights big fights in my career he's saying this right now man he's he's young vibrant uh young fighter man and it's good man he's doing it right now and he sees his vision and he wants the dreams to to become reality and i feel him on that go ahead and get it man go ahead and get it so that's all I gotta say, man. Um, Shakur Stevenson's out for the, out for Lomo's neck, and the promoter's neck, and the network's neck, man. He's letting, he's speaking up right now. He's not waiting, and I like that. I love that, man. Yeah, you know, I'm a fan of his. So y'all, let me know what y'all thought about him doing that, and uh, just let me know if y'all think he could beat Lomo, or what y'all think about the network and promote uh, him lashing out at, at the networks and promoters. Uh, do you think they could fix it? Do you think he was right by doing it? You know, what y'all think about that, man? But uh, it's Boxing Mind TV, and I'm out, and I'll be back with more videos.